Did you know that with a 12% survival rate, pancreatic cancer is the cancer with the lowest survival rate currently, even lower than cancers like breast, prostate, lung, and colorectal? According to the American Cancer Society, pancreatic cancer will have the third highest number of deaths in 2023 despite the fact that it's far rarer for people to be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer than breast, prostate, lung, and colorectal. Pancreatic cancer ranks as the eighth most prevalent cancer among women and the tenth among men. What is more disturbing is, since the late 1990s, there has been approximately a 1% annual increase in the incidence of pancreatic cancer in both males and females. But why is pancreatic cancer so deadly then? Pancreatic cancer often goes unnoticed in its early stages because it doesn't show symptoms. This makes it hard to catch early, leading to a high death rate. Without a standard screening test, doctors mainly depend on spotting symptoms to diagnose it. For this reason, oncologists stress that it is crucial to pay attention to the symptoms. This is why in this video we will discuss 12 unusual signs of pancreatic cancer to be vigilant about and address promptly to prevent irreversible harm. But before that we will quickly mention what the risk factors of pancreatic cancer are. Because you have control over many of the risk factors, and by knowing them, you can adjust your lifestyle in order to drastically lower the chances of the cancer. Before the end of the video, we will also mention four diet and lifestyle changes that can significantly lower your chances of developing pancreatic cancer. Risk Factors of Pancreatic Cancer 1. Chronic Pancreatitis Yes, chronic pancreatitis is a major risk factor for pancreatic cancer. According to the Johns Hopkins Medicine, when inflammation occurs, Inflammatory cells secrete growth factors and toxins. If the pancreas experiences long-term inflammation, these substances can damage genes and make pancreatic cells grow out of control, which can eventually cause pancreatic cancer. A recent research published by the National Library of Medicine also disclosed that chronic pancreatitis is one of the main risk factors for pancreatic cancer. If you want to know more about chronic pancreatitis, I have made a video about it. Link in the description. Two being overweight. According to the American Cancer Society, having a high amount of body fat, obesity, increases the chance of getting pancreatic cancer. People who are obese, with a body mass index of 30 or higher, have around a 20% higher risk of developing pancreatic cancer. Even individuals who are not extremely overweight may still be at risk if they carry excess weight around their waistline. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're getting value out of this. Three. Diabetes. Although the reason is still not known, pancreatic cancer happens more often in individuals who have diabetes, especially type 2 diabetes. Sadly, type 2 diabetes is becoming more common in kids and teenagers due to the rising rates of obesity in these age groups. In adults, type 2 diabetes is often linked to being overweight or obese. 4. Exposure to specific chemicals in the workplace. Prolonged contact with specific chemicals known as carcinogens, commonly utilized in the dry cleaning and metalworking sectors, might elevate an individual's susceptibility to pancreatic cancer. 5. Physical inactivity. In a recent study combining lots of data, it was found that people who engage in a lot of physical activity have a 24% lower chance of getting pancreatic cancer. 6. Diet. According to the World Cancer Research, eating processed meats, foods high in saturated fats, and drinking alcohol could all raise the chances of getting pancreatic cancer. 7. Infections Certain studies indicate that contracting pancreatic cancer may be more likely with the presence of Helicobacter pylori, H. pylori, a bacteria responsible for ulcers, or hepatitis B infection in the stomach. 8. Genetics Changes in genes that are passed down from parents to children can increase the risk of developing pancreatic cancer. These gene changes are responsible for up to 10% of pancreatic cancer cases. 9. Age Sadly, the chances of developing pancreatic cancer increases with age, with the majority of patients being over 45 years old. 10. Alcohol Several studies indicate a correlation between excessive alcohol consumption and pancreatic cancer. Engaging in heavy alcohol use can contribute to the development of conditions like chronic pancreatitis, consequently heightening the risk of pancreatic cancer. 11. Smoking Smoking greatly increases the chances of getting pancreatic cancer. People who smoke are about twice as likely to develop pancreatic cancer compared to those who have never smoked. 
Cigarette smoking is believed to be responsible for about a quarter of all cases of pancreatic cancer. Now that we are done with the risk factors, we will quickly move to the 12 unusual signs of pancreatic cancer to watch out for. 1. Jaundice One early sign of pancreatic cancer to watch out for is jaundice, which is when the skin and eyes turn yellow. Normally, a yellow substance called bilirubin, which comes from breaking down old red blood cells, is filtered out by the liver and passes through the bile ducts into the intestines, leaving the body harmlessly in stool. However, when pancreatic cancer happens, tumors often grow near these bile ducts, causing a blockage. This blockage stops bilirubin from leaving the body, leading to a buildup in the blood, which then makes the skin and eyes appear yellow. The more severe the blockage, the darker and more widespread the yellowing becomes. So, if you notice any new yellowing of the skin or eyes, it's important to seek medical attention. 2. Dark urine. Another indication of pancreatic cancer is when your urine becomes darker. When tumors block the flow of bile, bilirubin builds up in your blood like we mentioned before. Some of this bilirubin can make your skin and eyes turn yellow, but the excess also goes into your urine, making it darker than usual. As blockages in the bile ducts increase, the color of your urine can go from light yellow to amber brown, and eventually, it may become very dark. While dehydration can temporarily darken urine, if it stays dark for a while, it's important to get medical tests done. 3. Fatigue As the tumors get bigger, they use up a lot of energy and stop healthy tissues from getting the nutrients they need to work well. Also, they spread into the bone marrow and spleen, where they damage the red blood cells that carry oxygen. With fewer cells to carry oxygen, even small tasks make muscles tired quickly. When you add in poor eating habits and changes in digestion, it makes people feel extremely tired very fast. 4. Onset of Diabetes Pancreatic cancer can disrupt insulin production or cause insulin resistance, leading to elevated blood sugar levels characteristic of diabetes. According to the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, an abrupt fluctuation in blood sugar levels among individuals with previously well-managed diabetes could indicate the presence of pancreatic cancer. While not always indicative of pancreatic cancer, I stress, not always. Unexplained diabetes onset, especially in individuals not at high risk, should prompt further evaluation for early detection of pancreatic cancer. 5. Nausea and vomiting Nausea and vomiting can indicate pancreatic cancer due to several reasons. Pancreatic tumors can obstruct the flow of digestive enzymes and bile, disrupting digestion and causing nausea. Tumors pressing against the duodenum can block food passage, leading to vomiting after meals. Pancreatic enzyme insufficiency, caused by the cancer, can lead to poor digestion and nutrient absorption, resulting in nausea and vomiting. Bottom line, if nausea and vomiting persist or are accompanied by other concerning symptoms like the ones we mentioned before, it's important to seek medical evaluation for proper diagnosis and treatment. 6. Unexplained back pain. Unexplained back pain could indicate the presence of pancreatic cancer. When pancreatic tumors grow, they can irritate or press on the network of nerves around the pancreas. The pancreas is located near the spine behind the stomach. Important nerves connected to the spinal cord pass by the pancreas, transmitting signals to and from the brain. When cancer spreads to this area, it can trap these nerves, causing back pain. Additionally, tumors can compress the spine, leading to pain. While there are various reasons for temporary back pain, continuous mid to upper back aches without an obvious cause should prompt medical attention. 7. Abdominal pain. Abdominal pain in pancreatic cancer typically occurs due to tumor growth pressing against surrounding organs and nerves, leading to discomfort. The cancer may also cause inflammation of the pancreas and obstruction of ducts, resulting in pain. Additionally, Nerve involvement can contribute to persistent and challenging to manage pain. However, abdominal pain alone is not specific to pancreatic cancer and can have various causes. Other symptoms like jaundice, unexplained weight loss, nausea, and changes in stool, along with risk factors such as smoking and family history, should also be considered. If someone experiences persistent or severe abdominal pain along with these symptoms, Prompt medical evaluation is crucial for diagnosis and appropriate management. 8. Itchy Skin Excessive bilirubin crystals building up beneath the skin because of pancreatic tumors can cause intense itching even when there's no rash to see. 
The itching usually begins on the hands and feet, which are sensitive areas, but can spread throughout the body if bilirubin levels rise too high. It may also make the eyes itch and water a lot. Although there are various reasons for mild, temporary itching, persistent, and severe skin irritation suggest the need for you to see your healthcare provider. 9. Light-colored stool. Again, it all comes down to the bilirubin. Healthy stool is usually brown because of bilirubin that is released into bile. But if there's a blockage in the bile ducts caused by pancreatic tumors, bilirubin can't get into the intestines like it should. This means the stool won't have its normal brown color. Instead, it'll look pale. While some foods can make your stool change color temporarily, if it's consistently pale, it could be a sign of a medical issue, especially if you're also experiencing jaundice. 10. Sudden loss of appetite. As pancreatic cancer progresses, the tumor can grow and put pressure on nearby organs, such as the stomach and intestines. This can lead to early satiety, meaning a person feels full quickly after eating only a small amount of food, causing them to lose their appetite. Research has also shown that pancreatic cancer can interfere with the normal functioning of the pancreas, which plays a crucial role in producing digestive enzymes that help break down food. Dysfunction of the pancreas can lead to difficulty digesting food, resulting in discomfort or pain after eating, which may discourage a person from eating. 11. Unexplained weight loss. As pancreatic tumors get bigger, they use up energy and nutrients from healthy tissues, causing a fast loss of weight. The pancreas normally releases important enzymes to help break down fats, carbs, and proteins from food. But when there are tumors, these enzymes aren't released properly, which messes up digestion and how the body absorbs nutrients, making weight loss even faster. It's normal for weight to go up and down a little, but if someone is losing a lot of weight quickly and it's not because of changes in diet or exercise, they should see a doctor. 12. Blood clots. Blood clots can sometimes indicate the presence of pancreatic cancer due to a phenomenon called perineoplastic syndrome. Perineoplastic syndromes are a group of disorders that occur when cancerous tumors produce hormones, peptides, or other substances that are released into the bloodstream and affect distant tissues or organs. In the case of pancreatic cancer, the tumor can release substances that cause abnormalities in blood clotting mechanisms. These substances may include procoagulants, which promote blood clot formation, or they may interfere with the body's natural anticoagulant mechanisms. As a result, individuals with pancreatic cancer may be at an increased risk of developing blood clots, a condition known as deep vein thrombosis, DVT, or pulmonary embolism, PE. These blood clots can form in the veins of the legs, DVT, and may travel to the lungs, PE, leading to potentially life-threatening complications. Remember, if you notice signs that your pancreas might be having problems, don't panic. Instead, schedule a doctor's appointment promptly. The good news is that there are things you can do to lower your chances of getting pancreatic cancer, and they are as follows. 1. Quit smoking and stay away from secondhand smoke. This helps prevent further damage to your DNA and reduces inflammation in your body. 2. Eat a diet that fights inflammation. This means eating lots of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats like omega fats. Try to eat less processed red meats and cut back on alcohol to keep your pancreas healthy. 3. Be careful about chemicals you're exposed to at work. Some chemicals can increase your risk of developing tumors in your pancreas. 4. Get moving. Exercise every day to improve how your body uses insulin and keeps your blood sugar level stable. This lowers your risk of getting diabetes. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the common yet overlooked signs of pancreatic cancer. If you found value in this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos on how to better care for our delicate organs.